So, happening this weekend, uh, currently, February 9 and 10, is the Winter Wonder Festival 2019, or the Wonderfest in Japan. And we've gotten a slew of upcoming Transformers toys from Takara Tomy. And, quite, and obviously, it's going, Hasbro might also share those products as well. So let's get right to it. Got a lot of Bumblebee merchandise going on. And the first image I want to talk about is this upcoming Siege Toys. And it, it says it's the Star Convoy and the Armada Optimus Prime. I mean, if you grew up in the Unicron Trilogy period of Transformers animation, you will immediately recognize quite these... Uh, these figures and this one is supposedly the star convoy and he's sporting that optimus gundam head and it's looking to be an absolutely fantastic figure if you love the power of the primes uh optimus leader class optimus prime figure you're probably gonna love this one i, I certainly am liking it even as, as a gray model Look at that, and this is probably going to be a retooled Orion Pax. We'll just have to wait and see. Next is the Armada Convoy, or Armada Optimus Prime, that transformed into that truck, that really wide semi-truck, and it was very anime-ish. I uh, wasn't a big fan of this character, actually, but this upcoming toy looks absolutely great. Very excited to get it. Uh, We'll have to wait and see. The next one is the new and upcoming MP45 Masterpiece Bumblebee, cartoon accurate uh, Bumblebee. And it's not just going to be like a recolor or a retool of the previous uh, Masterpiece Bumblebee that, that, that like we've seen with uh, Sideswipe, uh, uh, Blue Streak, Shockwave, Megatron. I mean, it's not, I don't think it's going to be just a plain old recolor. And from the looks of things, it is a brand new sculpt. It's a brand new mold that has the, uh, the cartoon accurate features like that chubby head sculpt. And wow, and those feet, like that's, that's how he looked like in the cartoon. And I I was wondering if his alt, if his alt mode would be like the cartoon, and this is the image we've seen from Wonderfest. It looks like that squished up Volkswagen Beetle that we saw in the '80s cartoon, and it looks great. And the discussion now is, what do you do with your other masterpiece now that Takara Tomy is trying to release the cartoon accurate version? My thing is about the masterpiece is it's slowly becoming like a a very focused collector uh, line. And it's like the Hot Toys line. I mean, if you do collect the Hot Toys or the Mezco 112 Collective, I mean, you, you, you're really moving away from mainstream toys. This is for the hardcore collectors that want toy accurate masterpiece Transformers and cartoon accurate masterpiece Transformers. Because growing in the 80s, you saw the cartoon and you wanted a, 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 a toy that was like the cartoon. Then you had the G1 toys. So both versions, cartoon and toy accurate versions, will bring you back all the nostalgia that you had as a kid. So I'm guessing Takara Tomy and Hasbro are banking on these hardcore collectors that want both cartoon and toy accurate versions. I'm loving this one, really. Okay, the next one is Masterpiece Black Arachnia. Well, if you've watched some of my uh, videos back in the day or my um, collection video, latest collection video, I've really gotten rid of my Beast Wars Masterpiece figures and all my Beast Wars figures. Um, it was a great show back in the day, but the toys have don't have a lot of sentimental value for me. I mean, I had the Beast Wars toys back in the 90s, but they never really stuck around much like, not un uh, unlike the, uh, the 80s toys that I really, really loved. So I'm trying to move away from Beast Wars, so I'll probably not be getting the masterpiece Beast Wars figures. Same goes for the Megatron. I wanted this one, but I had gotten rid of all my uh, masterpiece, my two, the, my two masterpiece figures, uh, the Cheetor and Optimus Primal. They were great, but uh, they weren't one hundred percent with me, and as such, I got rid of them. And I don't think I'll be getting this one as well. So no reviews, no upcoming reviews for me for Masterpiece Beast Wars. Um, 
Transformers, unless Hasbro sends me a copy, which that'll never happen, or one of the hobby shops I go to lends me a copy, which I guess, again, will never happen. <laughs> so I, pr I probably won't be doing a review of, of these two upcoming uh, Beast Wars Masterpiece figures. Okay, next is Golden Lagoon Leader Class Soundwave. He looks okay. Uh, I love that uh, Takara Tomi is trying to let collectors recreate that episode, but uh, I, I, I'm not 100% with the figures because what really turned me off is I thought it was all going to be gold chrome, like the Lucky Draw uh, uh, toys, and... For Hasbro, for Takara told me to do that, that pro the the cost will be astronomical, and I and I get it that they did partial chromes on here, and they're only the important pieces. I get it, I get it, but that was a big turn off for me. And the Golden Lagoon was all cleanly gold, and this was, I think, a more affordable version. They're trying to do that, so I don't know. I didn't pick up any of the figures. Not a hundred percent fan about them, and this is not exactly my favorite Soundwave figure. I do love Soundwave, but it's not my favorite version of Soundwave, so this is going to be a pass for me as well. It's a shame because I thought he had a lot of gold chrome pieces and be a great on, this, on display on your shelf, but uh, no, no, I think that's a pass for me. Next is the Diaclone figures, the big powered. Um, I never really got into Diaclone back in the day. There's no nostalgia for me for this one. Um, I have no idea who these are. I've seen a, a few images uh, some artwork and all that for diaclone but i never really got into the toys and toys were are my main draw uh the toys I, I i got when i was a kid those are the nostalgia feel for those are my main draw for getting the updated versions and no this is i don't think it's for me so no. same goes with these the sneaker colored uh mp10 figures of optimus prime no i'm no, these are these are a pass for me. Uh, I don't think. Same with the bathing ape versions. They're, they're not really my thing, so sorry, no reviews for that. This one, again, as I've been mentioning in the past, uh, my my videos, the MP forty four is looking absolutely gorgeous. The main concern I have for this one is the ridiculous price that Takara Tomi has put on this figure it's going for what four hundred dollars or more 450 i i just not prepared to spend that much that is bordering on hot toys uh, figures and i'm not into I, I don't collect hot toys and this would probably be if i do purchase this this would be the most expensive item i've ever picked up ever uh toy that I've ever bought uh, in my history of reviewing and collecting. It's just ridiculously overpriced. And, you know, you've seen the details, the pictures and all that. This should just be not, should be 250 to $300 tops. $300 I think is already exorbitant for a masterpiece figure. And I don't know, um, unless a hobby shop decides to lend me one of their copies, I don't think I'm going to be able to review this figure. Uh, it, it, it's, it's just ridiculous. My wife is going to have a fit if she finds out I spent $400, $450 on a Transformer. It, it's just not going to happen. I, I don't think so, but I'm loving it. I've seen the third-party versions of the animated Optimus Prime, the 80s animated animation Optimus Prime. They're okay, but to me, nothing beats the official product and yeah i don't know we'll have to wait and see next is as i've mentioned before the uh uh mpm or movie masterpiece line uh megatron and it looks fantastic i i'm not gonna lie it, it absolutely looks unbelievably great and he's not my favorite version of megatron i never liked this soul spaceship alt mode but it is so tempting to get one. It, it, it's, it's ridiculous. You, you're going to spend $200 for a figure you're not 100% with. I would love to review this. But if the price is going for $180, $200, I think I'm going to have to pass uh, for a Megatron. Had this been the Last Night Megatron or, or a Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, I would have snagged it in a heartbeat. Uh, but 
Movie One Megatron. Uh, oh my goodness. I didn't even get Optimus Prime, the MPM Optimus Prime. So, so far, this is a 70%, 80% pass for me. But we'll, we'll see. Who knows, you know. August comes along. September, maybe I'll get it. Uh, oh my goodness. Revel Tech Optimus Prime. Uh, the Amazing Yamaguchi line. If you've seen my videos on the Marvel uh, Amazing Yamaguchi, I am... I am just madly in love with that line and the unbelievable articulation. For me, articulation is like, <laughs> I'm such an articulation junkie and I, oh my God, goodness. I, I've had this rule for the longest time that not to buy non-transforming Transformers unless it's for Alex or Danny. Like there was this PVC, uh, soft PVC, uh, cheap uh, five points of articulation, action figures of Transformers, and I picked them up. But a non-transforming, a Transformer, despite being highly detailed, high, good level articulation, I refuse to get it to this day. I mean, up until they showed us this picture. The Amazing Yamaguchi, I am completely 100% sold with that line. And for them to come up with an Optimus Prime figure, I think I'm going to have to bend that rule. Seriously, uh, I will have to bend that rule and get this figure. If you're an Optimus Prime collector, wow, you have to get this. Reveltech Kayodo has done an amazing, amazing sculpt. Look at this. I mean, if you love posing Transformers, this is a no-brainer. And like I said, I am... <laughs> I'm going to have to bend that rule. I'll have to get this. Because I've gotten all the Amazing Yamaguchi line, the Marvel line, except, of course, the DC ones like Deathstroke and Batman. I'm not going to get those. But uh, this one, oh my god, oh boy. Wow. Oh, 60 bucks. I think I'm going to have to get this. $60, $70. I'll have to shell out for this one. And it, it looks absolutely fantastic. Oh my goodness. So, anyway. That's it. I guess that's it for Wonder Con Wonder Fest, uh, the Winter Wonder Festival in in Japan. Uh, maybe they'll have more additional pictures later on. But uh, for Transformers, those are the ones I'm I, I I thought were interesting. And let me know in the comment section below what you think uh, and what the figures you want uh, to see more of and you're excited to get uh, this year. Uh, so I will probably do be doing another video on the action figures that were revealed. Uh, but until then, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.